As the parent company of Fosterville Goldmine, Agnico Eagle recognises that climate change is a pressing issue which requires a collective effort to reduce carbon emissions. Factory electric vehicles we see as a key means of reducing our carbon footprint and this journey of electrification is something we're embarking upon uh, to move towards our ultimate goal being net zero by 2050. Fosterville Goldmine recently embarked on a trial of a battery electric underground loader and a nine seat personnel carrier. A first step towards gradually transitioning to a battery electric fleet. What we have is an 18 tonne carry capacity battery electric vehicle and uh, the important thing for, for us here in Australia is this is going to enable our customers to really lower their CO2 emissions uh, as well as reduce the exhaust emissions underground and, and also lower heat emissions. We actually have a long history together, particularly in the past in uh, places like Canada where um, uh, Agnico Eagle and Kirkland Lake Gold have basically used our battery electric vehicles so it's, it's only fitting that we're going to continue this journey here in Australia. The Rokion R400, it's a uh, ground up designed battery electric vehicle. Um, it's designed specifically for underground mining that allows us to build a design that's suited for the environment, um, make it a lot more rugged than your standard vehicle so you get more longevity out of the machine. We also have smaller machines, the 100 and 200 as well. So I've been a loader operator under the, in the underground uh, mining environment for 17 years. So I've uh, used a lot of different loaders. It'd be exciting to get it on site and put it through its paces and see what it can do. Uh, it'd be yeah, interesting to see how the battery goes. From here, we'll uh, unload the machine here on site today. Uh, we'll then go into a series of maintenance and operator training. So expected to sort of take around three to four weeks to cover all the crews and we'll look to get the machine uh, underground in the first half of September. The Sambic loader trial will go on for 12 months uh, and after that, we'll um, assess the uh, suitability for it underground, uh, assess the benefits of it, assess the, uh, the machine suitability to, to match our haulage fleet. The Rokian R400 trial is six months. It's one of the first uses for that machine underground in hard rock mines in Australia. Uh, so there's certainly lots of options to assess with that machine as well. We'll be looking for other technologies that we can introduce as we move along the journey to improve our overall carbon footprint.